here with Trevor Cronin of Cronin Agri. Um, so Trevor, I suppose you're out spreading scurry anyway, with your umbilical system today. Yeah, yeah, we're just here in uh, our old site. Um, we've got the ground there for silage and zero grazing. You're looking for new to the game really with it, so um, we were getting on fine and now all is going well, thank God. So yeah, pretty happy with it now to be fair. Um, and I suppose conditions as well this year have been a bit of a gift, haven't they? Actually, they've been ideal for us now, getting, getting used to it and getting going with it. Um, the workload is, the pressure is off really on us. You know, so we've had a dry four weeks, so it's, it's been very good with that. Yeah, so you have most of the slurry out now at this stage? Yeah, yeah, yeah we have. We're just had our own block of ground here. So, um, look, we'd have been always doing this with tankers before, so um, it's a good job now getting used in the umbilical because we have slurry storage here anyway. There's about 40,000 gallons of storage here, so we can. it's good there to be able to draw the story here and we can pump it out in yeah, uh, as I the ground do. is coming ready and everything. Yeah, and I see inside you have the tank as well, you're using that as a pump? Yeah, yeah, we have the 4,500 gallon tank. Um, that is the door to pump on it. It was just the way we bought it two years ago with the 9 metre dribble bar on the back and the door to pump on it. And uh, we weren't getting the tank was kind of quieter this time of year because ground conditions were unsuitable for it. And then we kind of said we'd try and make somebody use of it. Yeah. So we bought the, just the 800 metre front reeler and 800 metres of pipe. And we had everything else. Then the dribble bar came off the back of the tank and went down here. Yeah. And uh, the door pump was on it. So it seems to be working really well, actually. I suppose that way you're getting the best use out of all your gear, like. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting the use out of the tank. And, um, you know, the dribble bar can go back on the tank then again as well, you know. Yeah. Very good. And then I suppose this year as well you fitted the flow meter on. Yeah, the flow meter, yeah. Look, we, we wouldn't have been used to umbilical, so we wouldn't have been used to the rates. Yeah. And especially of all years, there's, you know, there's going to be a big emphasis on, uh, on you know, 2,000 or 2,500 gallons to the acre. Yeah. We wouldn't have known what we were putting out. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great guide and it's, it's perfect, really. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. With, um, it seems to be very accurate, just kind of measuring off the tank. As yeah. say, if we pumped out four and a half thousand gallons, it, it seems to be spot on, really. And you just set your rate, and it gives you your forward speed. Then set the rate, and then it will tell you the forward speed, your recommended forward speed. But it, it tells yeah. you the speed you're doing in as well. So you're just trying to match the tube, then really. So. Not very good. And then I suppose the fitting then. Yes, to be fair, all, all day. They come kind of with a unit that you bolt out. Um, like a section that you bolt out that is the exact size for the flow meter. Yeah. So it was just a case of bolt out that section and put in the flow meter. Um, and we went for the Bluetooth one then, so oh, it was a case of just plug it in and turn on the, the iPad. There was no big deal fitting it or no tram or anything. Yeah. Um, and it's very easy to use the iPad. Just key it in and away you go, you know. Yeah. And um, now that gives you the option there, all right, of doing customers and times and all that and how many gallons you put out yeah so even for billing and stuff after yeah, it's handy yeah in time yeah you know, so but no look the flow meter was very easy fit um for his games just plug and play really and away it went for us yeah. happy out yeah very good um, and i suppose you'll be able to put that on your tanker then when you yeah, move across that's, that's the plan yeah we kind of made it there in a way with fittings on it that we don't have to do a lot of unbolting or bolting yeah um, to, to just swap it over to the tanks. So we look, we'll be able to, look when it's a little ease off or whatever, uh, we'll probably put it on the tanks for the summer, all right? Just yeah. to see you know, we'll get a feel for it and how we get on with it on the tanks. And it's like, yeah. But that's good to be able to that option as well. Then. Yeah, I'm sure it's a very fine tank, four and a half thousand. Yeah, yeah, but like we, we have a maid now as well that it'll go on the, the two and a half and yeah. the other one. Too. So you have so options then again? Yeah, we have options with it, look. Look, I know, down the line, it'll probably be one on every tank this course in time because of the emphasis on story, but um, yeah. it'll be fine. Look, it'll get us going in anyway. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, yeah yes, things are going well now. That's good. Anyway, that's spot on, Trevor. Thanks for your time. Yeah, and no Thanks, Trevor.